It's Thursday, March 27, 2008, and you're watching The Ointment. Today is the anniversary of the day when the FDA first approved for medical use the drug Viagra. And coincidentally, also today, National Go Fly a Kite Day. So, happy liftoff, everybody. Our top story, let's check in on the race for the presidency of the United States. Well, on the Democratic side of things, one of the candidates, are you ready for this big news? One of the candidates has dropped out of the race. Who is it? Obama? No. Clinton? No. It's Mike Gravel. He has dropped out to run for the presidency on the libertarian ticket because, well, he's addicted to being a loser. We have an interesting quote from Hillary Clinton about the race. She is now saying that pledged delegates are in fact not pledged delegates. Hmm. She says in fact that they are independent voters who can vote for whomever they please despite the fact that there are explicit rules by the Democratic Party. She went on to say by the way that voters are not in fact voters. They are mere obstacles to her dreams. In entertainment news, Oliver Stone, the liberal firebrand filmmaker, is making a movie about, are you ready, George Bush. Now, he has made controversial films about JFK and Nixon, so you can only imagine what's going to be in this Bush movie. Now, I haven't read the script, but from what I hear, during the Bush administration, here are the things that Stone says happened. Uh, two of New York's biggest high-rises were lost, the city of New Orleans, Louisiana was decimated, and the nation of the United States, the greatest nation on the planet, lost a war to some crazy terrorists in Iraq. I mean, can you believe this stuff? Speaking of can you believe this stuff, check out this picture of a pregnant man. Now, I don't think this is photoshopped. I think this is a real picture. The guy's name is Thomas Beatty. He was born a woman, but he's legally a man, married to a woman. He didn't quite finish his sex reassignment surgery, so the story goes. So there he is. He decided to have a baby, and so now he's pregnant, if you believe it. I'm not sure that I do, but can you imagine having both morning sickness and jock itch? That's fun. Speaking of big bellies, a new scientific study reveals that having a big belly, not the kind caused by pregnancy, but the kind caused by overeating, is a sign that you will suffer from dementia later in life. If you don't believe me, take a look at this big bellied guy who spends his nights climbing down people's chimneys and leaving them gifts. Now that's crazy. I have some sad news to report. Herb Peterson has passed away. Who's Herb Peterson? Well, he's the guy who back in 1972 invented the chemically infused Egg McMuffin Sandwich for McDonald's. The preservative laced breakfast is still a staple at the fast food chain today. By the way, Herb is survived by that very first Egg McMuffin Sandwich. And finally, in entertainment news, it's your celebrity mugshot of the day. It's Richie Sambora. Okay, I admit it. Celebrity mugshot may be going a little bit too far. Let's just call it a picture of a drunk guy who used to be in Bon Jovi. That's the ointment for another day. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Steve Tatum, and that's news. Catch you tomorrow, everybody.